Hi everyone. So this is part two of a little series I guess you could say I'm doing. I probably won't finish it with this video. Um, so it'll probably go to three or maybe even four parts. Um, where I kind of discuss, I guess you could say, my thoughts um, about, you know, being addicted to reborns or whatever. And basically of the... Uh, the several reborns I have. <laughs> I, I ought to really count them all up, to be honest with you. Um, you know, in the interest of full disclosure for these videos. But I think it's around, um, probably, not like I said, not counting silicones and um, um, mini babies. I think it's probably around 30, 3, 34, maybe, third, I think 33 um, reborns, I would guess, um, that I have. I kind of have been doing some thinking about if I had to scale back, which ones would I choose and why would I choose them? Um, and I kind of have been thinking, okay, I'm, I'm sort of going through and I don't think I could get down to a dozen, but I think I could probably get down to maybe 15 or 16, <laughs> which I know to some of you sounds like a lot, but to someone who has, you know, over 30 dolls, 15 or 16 is, you know, that's cutting that, that in half. So, like I said, I bought all of these babies for reasons, um, particular reasons, and um, I don't have any reason to... Um, dislike any of the ones that I bought so um, so I still have them right so now I'm kind of thinking about okay which ones could I not live without which ones have been in storage for a while and um, I'm not really finding it all that difficult to live without them to be honest with you um, so I'm kind of going through some of the babies First of all, that I know would be on my, say, top 15, 16 list or whatever. Um, and these are all babies who I know I would want to keep because I've never been able to put them away. I mean, since the day I got them, I've never put them away. And so I'll kind of go through um, five more of those tonight. So after tonight, you will have nine um, of the, you know dozen to 16 babies that will probably end up on my, you know, never, you know, forever baby list, I guess you could say. <laughs> so here's two more. Of course, this is Marlo Rose and she's the Periscult. Um, and how could you not like this little one, huh? What a face on this one. This is such a sweetheart. And I also love this baby. Not only for her sweet, chubby face and her cute little chubby hands um, and her super, she has the softest silicone, I th or um, softest vinyl, I think, of any of the my, my Reborns. She's just awesome. I might have one or two that are as soft, but she's definitely in the, in the top of the stack category in terms of that. She feels really, really nice and she's super cuddly. And she has the best baby feet of any baby I have. I love the feet on this sculpt. So anyway, those would be my reasons um, for putting her, I guess, in the top list. I just think she's just gorgeous. So cute and so cuddly. And I just adore this sculpt. And then, of course, we have little Hannah, who, you know, <laughs> is uh, not a sculpt that anybody knows or has um, <laughs> she's an unnamed sculpt um, and you know it's probably not worth you know very much money or any of that kind of stuff but I just adore I've always adored this baby this was in some ways this doll was maybe one of the dolls that sort of had me fall in love with this hobby um, she wasn't the first doll I bought but she was Certainly one of the, I think maybe she might have been the third doll that I bought. And the moment I saw this baby, um, I mean, this one this one was the one, one of the few, actually both of these two were babies 
that um, when I saw them, I bought them both on eBay, and when I saw them, I was going to have them. That was just it. I was, whatever it took, <laughs> I was going to have them. Um, and, um, you know, I ended up getting both of them very reasonably for the, for, uh, certainly my um, Paris sculpt I got a lot, very reasonably, um, considering the sculpt and the artist who reborned her um, is a pretty, I guess you could say, reputable artist on, on eBay. And um, Hannah kind of ended up being sort of like the doll that led me to, um, to into a relationship with um, a couple of sisters from Enchanted Moments Nursery who have reborn several of my other dolls as well um, because she was just so well done. So little Hannah, although she is just um, a no-name sculpt, would also be um, among my my forever babies. And then the next two I'll show you are these two guys. And this is um, Caitlin Dawn. And she's the Dawn sculpt, of course. And this here is Adeline, baby Adeline. And uh, she is the Sienna sculpt by Joanna Gomes. And she might be one of the newest babies that is would be among, you know, these ones that, that are just absolute keepers. Um, I will say, though, and I said this during her box opening, this was a sculpt I wanted for a really, really long time. Um, and so I, and I lucked out when I got her um, for a super reasonable price. And... Um, you know, she was she was actually on eBay used, but she's from an artist um, that I know and like, um, an original artist. I didn't buy her from the artist. I bought her from um, somebody else used, but I got lucky. And so these two would also be um, babies on my list. I just think these two um, have the sweetest sleepy faces, and I really love... Um, in in Caitlin's case, the reborn artist um, who did her gave her the, the most breathtaking peaches and cream complexion of all of my dolls. Um, I wish that you could see the color better um, with my crappy phone camera. <laughs> but suffice it to say that in terms of a peaches and cream complexion, um, this baby is the best of all the ones I own um, in terms of that and she's just oh she's got sweet blonde hair she's just both of these are just so sweet I really love these two and um, they stay in the same bed together and you can see I use for the babies I have out in a lot of cases I have a playpen the one playpen that you saw in the last video and then several of the others are in um, laundry basket beds with pillows and blankets and they've got their loveys in here they each have their own individual lovey and some other little stuff you know a bottle maybe and some hello kitties because I have hello kitties around the house you can also see in in with Hannah and Marlo Rose you, you can see they've got other little toys in there but both of them are in I'll kind of back up so you can see the the um laundry basket beds. They're, I've got them sitting on a sofa right now. But you can see kind of basically what what I keep my babies in just around the house. And they're usually like two to a bed. Um, no, one, no one has their own bed ex in this house except for one baby. And that baby is the fifth baby that I will show you tonight. Little Fiona. <laughs> Now I know all you Tegan fans are probably breathing a sigh of relief that she made the cut. <laughs> um, yes, she was always going to make the cut. Um, but in any case, um, Fiona is actually done by the sister of the girl who did Hannah. And she was my Easter baby last year. So she's kind of, I guess you could say, one of the sort of more recent additions 
Um, I think I got her in, when was Easter last year? The end of March, I think. So, um, so she's almost a year old. And so she's the only baby I have who has their own bed. She's in a bouncer because she's kind of big. Um, I only have one baby that's as big or bigger than her. And that's my um, Bonnie Brown Charlemagne sculpt. And even she shares a bed with a smaller baby um, most of the time. But Fiona has her own bouncer that's only hers. And she, uh, she stays in it at all times. And she's always such a sweetheart. She's always got her her rabbit with her. She has a rabbit as her lovey because she was the Easter baby last year. So that's little Fiona. And that's um, the last of the five that I'll show you tonight. I also wanted to show you real quickly, um, just so you kind of have an idea. When I put babies into storage, most of the babies I have are newborn size or preemie size. As I said... Um, Fiona and uh, Tracy, baby Tracy, who is my Charlemagne sculpt, are the only two really big babies I got. And so a lot of the babies, preemies and newborns, will fit in these plastic containers. Um, I get these at Walmart, and they're, um, they've got nice hard plastic lids on them, as you can see. Um, and I think they were like maybe, I don't know, seven, eight dollars or something. And the babies who go in storage in my house basically go into one of these. And they um, go in with a blanket wrapped around them and their, their lovey that's only theirs that, um, that they keep in there with them. And um, sometimes some other stuff, maybe a passy or something like that. Um, of course, they have a little outfit on, usually a sleeper or something like that. And that's basically what they stay in. So I wanted to show you that as well so you would kind of have an idea of what my storage looks like. Basically, I might um, stack, you know, maybe three or four of those on top of each other. Because like I said, these lids are, I, I bought it, buy them specifically because these lids are super hard. And the ridges are where they sit, so there's not any pressure on the babies that are in there. So anyway, that's that's basically what you're looking at in terms of the five babies tonight that I wanted to go over. Let's kind of pan around again. And uh, I guess we'll um, wrap this up maybe next time. Bye-bye.